All right, guys, welcome to this training where I'm going to be taking you through how the algorithm actually works in a way that you can learn how to hack the system to make it work for your e-commerce ads. So there's a saying out there amongst Facebook marketers that being really, really good in Facebook marketing is pretty much about 30% down to skills and knowledge and experience and about 70% letting the algorithm do its thing. So understanding how to set things up so that Facebook can actually step in and find the sweet spots for your audiences, find the people that are going to buy the products that you need to buy. It's got a lot of information. It knows people better than you and I do. So understanding how to leverage that side of Facebook is crucial to succeeding with your e-commerce ads. All right, so the first thing to look at is actually understanding the auction process. So it, if it's broken down in the bare necessities, what it comes down to is your bid, so the advertiser bid that you're willing to pay to reach a certain audience the likelihood of that audience to perform an action and so the likelihood is basically down to Facebook here knowing how how much um, intent does someone have to say buy a barbecue or leggings or go traveling to Bali based on all of the behaviors that Facebook knows about that person through their messenger interactions their email their Facebook interactions, their behaviors on websites that have pixels. So it's got all this data and it knows who has high intents. So estimated action is something that you can sort of control through your targeting, but how likely are the people within your targeting to go or, or are into the product that you are selling? And then on top of that comes down the relevancy and the ad quality. Now this one is a really, really important one because obviously Facebook's main aim, Facebook makes money by selling advertising, right? So just like any other publisher who monetizes through advertising, uh, the main aim is to get more users, right? And more engaged users because the more users they grow, the, the larger their user base, the more advertising they can sell, the, the more the company itself grows. So this is a huge priority for Facebook is to protect that sort of user experience. And this is the reason why you can put an ad in the auction and maybe only have a budget of $1,000 and yet be able to compete against companies like Coca-Cola because if your ad has a better relevance to the targeting or the audience you're going after, um, Facebook will prefer your ad over Coca-Cola's. So it's great for advertisers. It's also important for you to understand how do you create great relevant ads and high quality ads, right? Now, all of this combined, your bid, the estimated action, and the relevance and ad quality, uh, what this does means you win the auction. So you're going into an auction process against oftentimes millions of other advertisers uh, for a particular audience. And so these are the metrics that determines whether or not you're going to go after a high quality audience, so people with high intent, or what we call a C class, B or C class audience, which is a lower intent audience. Um, they're not as high quality and that's usually because your bid is not up to par and your relevancy, the, the quality of your ad is not that great. All right, so this is basically the premise of the auction itself. Now let's just dissect that relevancy and the ad quality. So remember it's this part over here. Uh, if we're looking at that, well, what does that include, right? Because we all talk about relevancy and ad quality. What actually goes into that? So the things that go into that are things like your targeting. How relevant is the targeting that you're using for what you're trying to sell? Um, the creative is huge as well. Now, you can control these elements here. Uh, one of the ones that you can't control is the, well, you can sort of control it through management, 
but you certainly can't find what your quality score for an ad account is. But things like the, the how healthy your ad account is will definitely come into par. So does your ad account have a lot of high negative feedback that isn't balanced by positive feedback? That's going to really impact you in the auction process. Do your payment methods keep failing? So is your credit card failing all the time? Um, and you know, Facebook's going to start penalizing you for, for things like that. It, it doesn't appreciate that, right? So your ad quality score will definitely come into play here. And then finally, the funnel, which is probably one thing that most people will overlook, but is fundamentally important. So remember, Facebook has bots scanning all of the landing pages to the e-commerce sites or funnels that you're sending people into the landing pages. And so it's really important to make sure that you have a really good page speed load time, um, that you have schema on that page, that the terms, you know, if your, ad, if your ad is talking about leggings, that the landing page you're sending people to has the word leggings somewhere on there, that it's continuous, right? Um, and that it's relevant to the actual funnel. So those things are really important as well. So this is what goes into the relevancy and ad quality. Now, this is what I just showed you here was the basic auction, which applies across lead gen, coaches, online courses, e-commerce, et cetera, et cetera. But what about if you're running conversion-based objective ads, right? Which is what you're probably gonna be running when you're doing e-commerce ads. So I'm gonna take you through the different funnels and how which objective to select for those, but the majority of um, those funnels are using conversion objectives. Now, it's the same premise here, uh, same auction, except when we're looking at relevance and ad quality, there's a slightly different element that also goes into the equation here, and that's what we call the CVR. That's your conversion rate. So remember how we were talking about relevancy and ad quality and the funnel? Well, when you're running a conversion objective ad, Facebook also looks at the conversion rate of that funnel, meaning it knows how many people are converting and is that good or bad. Now here's the deal, guys. Facebook states officially that they want to see a minimum of 50 conversions per ad set per week. So what this means is let's say you're optimizing your ad set for purchase you should be getting at least 50 of those conversions per ad set per week. Now, without confusing you too much here, this is, of course, if by default you have set your uh, conversion window to seven days. All right, so that's the default window. Now, a lot of you guys are not going to be getting 50 purchases per ad set per week, right? Maybe on the whole pixel you might be, but probably not per ad set. Now, does that mean you cannot optimize for purchase? No, absolutely not. I've seen enough e-commerce campaigns to tell you right off the bat that optimizing for purchases a lot of the time still works a lot better than optimizing for the step beforehand. However, if your ad sets or if your campaigns are not performing the way that you want them to, this is really important to understand because it could be because of this. So what you then do is go, well, if I can increase my CVR, my conversion rate, then ultimately I will increase my ad quality and relevancy, which ultimately means I will have a higher standing in the auction process, right? So you're hacking the algorithm here, you're understanding that. Now, how do you increase your CVR, your conversion rate? Well, the easiest way, guys, is to optimize for a step that happens before in your funnel. So let's say you were optimizing for purchases. Well, what you then do is you just optimize for the step beforehand, which might be add to cart. Um, in some instances, you may even be optimizing for view content. So you optimize for a step where you would be getting a lot of conversions because remember that's an event, so Facebook would convert that 
consider that a conversion. Conversion is not just purchases in this context here. So understanding things like that is really important because when things are not going as well as you might like or if things start to falter, then you know how the algorithm ultimately works and the elements that you control here. So the things that you really, really have control over is your bid, uh, and we'll go into that a bit more, and obviously how you choose to optimize those campaigns and the quality of the creative and the targeting that you're putting out there. All right, so that's all about understanding and thinking like the algorithm. Let's tuck into the next part of this program.